next match, CLG versus Team Dignitas. But first, we want to see which roster changes have you excited this split. First, we have at Cartho Nasty who writes, I'm excited to see how CLG utilizes two mid laners. Who gets the start? Do they switch between games or between weeks? Only time will tell, I guess. Yeah, I mean, whichever one they do end up going with, you know, there's the saying, uh, competition breeds excellence, right? So both these guys competing with each other, the hope is that they push each other to greater levels. Right, and then the, you know, the idea that having two mid laners, if they do specialize in different things, might put pressure on other teams. Our next one comes from at Zero, who says, all tech to gravity. Playing with Bunny Fufu could make for one of the deadliest bot lanes in NA with their hyper aggression. Yeah, back when Bunny Fufu was with Cop, they kind of balanced each other out, right? It's like, go in, no, I don't want to go in. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with that entire team, because Bunny, I hear he's stepping up as the shot caller lately, and they're trying some things out. So that's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on. Well, lucky for them, Cop is still around, maybe under the tutelage of cop all tech will you know that bot lane <laughs> might him. yeah they might temper him a little bit well keep those answers coming our way we're at lolly sports and use the hashtag lcs but now let's shift gears and talk about our next game counter logic gaming versus team dignitas now last split clg had a good regular season but they fell apart as they approached the finish line now the team's owner hotshot gg was very vocal that he would be willing to make big changes but didn't go as far as some were expecting. Well, the first change they made was Link is out from the mid lane, and they brought in Poe Belter and Huhi to take the place of that. And Huhi, he's currently in Korea right now, resolving some visa issues. So Poe Belter is in for this week. And the thing that you were talking about were if they specialize in different champions between Poe Belter and Huhi, they don't at the moment. And they have very similar play styles, and I give the edge in terms of just laning to Poe Belter. So I Right now, I can't think of a scenario where you would use Huhi over Poe Belter, but right now, maybe things will change in the future, but Poe Belter's on stage. I have heard a lot of good things about Huhi, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, right now, definitely going to be Poe Belter because he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the decision easy for week one, so there's yeah. the answer to that. But they also have some changes in the coaching staff. True, true. Uh, they brought in a new head coach, uh, CLG. They have had a lot of problems with coaching you know, throughout the organization's history. Their new head coach is focused on you know more of the team environment. This guy on your screen, this is Zix Lull. This guy has been with the team for an entire year. He was the analyst. Now they're moving him up to be the uh, strategic coach, I think they dubbed yeah. the title. Uh, basically, he's going to be uh, an empowered analyst, and he's also <laughs> going to be up there for the picks and bans. Uh, still going to play a very important part uh, for the team, you know, as far as researching strategies and doing pick bans and all that sorts of stuff. Uh, now, another thing I think is really important for the new coach that they're bringing in, uh, this Blurred Limes guy, is you know, managing these teenagers, especially since they do have the two mid laners that are competing for one spot, you have to manage that very closely because you want them to push each other, but you don't want them to get to the point where they're hiding things from the other mid laner so that I get to be the starter this week. And mm -hmm. you want them to work together. They're on the same team. You know, push each other, but you're still on the same side. Right. It definitely will be interesting to watch the organization explore having two people for one role. Now for Team Dignitas, they are back after successfully defending their spot in the LCS against Fusion in five games. But despite the, uh, the disappointment finished last split and being forced to fight in the promotion tournament the team did not make any offseason changes yeah uh, team dignitas i mean Odie especially that has, has been an owner that's had that philosophy that the the sum of the team is definitely greater than just the individuals he really likes to keep a uh, team together just to try and build up synergy and try and build up uh, the camaraderie the team atmosphere he feels like that's a very important component and there's a very high cost to roster swaps and switching people out so he said very vocally he's not a big fan of doing it you know he'll if they do a roster swap it's because he absolutely thinks it's necessary yeah they've had time to work on it now at this point and zingy's no longer the new guy he is the jungler of dignitas and yeah. he's had time to synergize with top lane bottom lane mid lane so right now what do they bring to this game that's going to be different because it was very disappointing when they got taken to five games by fusion and kiwi kid had to pull a five-man alistar ultimate or q out of yeah. his out of his butt. They, they, <laughs> well, his they, bungus. They, his bungus. they took it down to the line there, right? The, yeah. This is a team that, you know, sort of barely qualified and got back in. So that's why people are surprised that they're keeping the same roster. You know, they're hoping that they can build on it, though. Yeah. All right. Well, we're about to find out. Now we're going to send it over to our casters for the play-by-play. -play. As we go, Zion Spartan shares with us how the team has been adjusting to Bo Belter taking over the mid lane. Um, with the change to Pobolter in the mid lane, that makes like a huge change to our team and our team dynamic because Link was like the main shot caller and he did 
all of that before. So now we're having like shifts and shot calling and we have like a different kind of player mid lane and you know there's that whole new player infusion that kind of like boosts the whole team morale but I just think there's a lot of changes besides just the one player change in terms of how we play as a team a little bit and it's definitely going to like affect how like how well we're going to play but I think I think it's going to be changes for the better in the long run. So a lot of changes, not all really yeah. quantifiable at the moment, but they know that it, if it's not just mentally, there's more there. Yeah, they're just going to try and play it out, right? They need yeah. more practice with each other, more stage experience with Pope Elther in there, and Pope Elther definitely the man for game one. Yep, yeah, indeed. Let's see how this plays out now with Pope Elther mid lane for Counter Logic Gaming on the blue side. It is Zion Spartan in the top lane, Xmithy in the jungle, Pope Elther in mid, double lift AD carry, and Afro Moo at support. And on the red side, of course, the same five as last split, it is Team Dignitas. Gamsu in the top lane, Azingi in the jungle, Shifter in mid lane, Core JJ on AD carry, and of course, Kiwi Kid on support. A squad definitely looking to put up some better numbers this season and really prove themselves for how far they've come here. Yeah, I mean, the analyst desk was talking about it too. Like, this Dignitas team could actually be pretty good this split, right? They had a very poor showing last split, but that was a lot of volatility in the jungle position. Remember, Crumb started yeah. the split. He stepped down. Then Azingi was their second replacement that they ended up finding because they had Cloud and Wind for a little while. And right. now they've had an off season. They also didn't have a coach for the majority of the spring split. So they have Rico in there now, a former Fnatic coach, a very qualified coach for this team.